Syngenta Crop Protection Canada and CNM Seeds present The Wheat School on realagriculture.com. So what makes the kochia so difficult to kill? Trouble with kochia is, is when it's small there's not a lot of target area and I think the the nature of of a kochia plant is having a, a hairy leaf surface and not a lot of target area. And what we're finding, um, you know, and what wheat growers are finding is that having a kochia plant with a hairy nature is uh, getting that droplet to actually land on the kochia plant but then actually penetrate that hair and get on the surface of the kochia to finish the job. So we're just actually okay. looking at some kochia here after uh, a rain here in the Regina area and you can see all the droplets just holding up on that hair and never actually touching the plants. So that's what the importance of having maybe a higher water volume uh, in your weed application might help with, with that problem, with its kosher problem. So when you say higher water volumes, what are we talking? I, ideally, if you had a, a kosher problem, it would be in that seven to 10 gallon range, but you'd see guys with, with heavy kosher going towards that 10 gallons per acre. Okay. That is unbelievable. So is, is kochia a real problem in the Regen area? You know what, we've got uh, some fields yes, some fields no, but in generally in southern, southern Saskatchewan kochia is a problem and it is so prolific seed producer that uh, wherever it is a problem there are multiple, multiple plants that keep multiplying if the problem isn't taken care of. Fortunately there are brands that that do take care of this problem some applied early like like a pulsar some applied later uh, past the four leaf stage but ultimately um, there are tools in the toolbox for wheat growers now this is considered big kosher although um, although there are a number of products that can take care of it it can range um, from that small to that that big these are the ones that grow to the size of Christmas trees if they're left unattended. And, and so when should you be trying to control them? Ultimately, ultimately with kochia, we would be wanting to obliterate these from the crop as early as possible so we don't affect the stand establishment. You know, we start with a good quality seed care program, get the plant growing, um, and early timely removal of broadleaves like kochia, buckwheat, lambs quarters, wild mustard, all those sort of things. Even volunteer canola has been, been bad the last number of years. Uh, followed by early removal of wild oats. I know in studies that Syngenta has taken part in, killing those wild oats early and effectively has led to uh, up to two bushel gains by, by just switching the brands you're using within that early weed removal program.